Hello there. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to evaluate and select a location using the factor rating method. This question corresponds to problem 8.11 in your text. So here we have a company that's planning on expanding and building a plant in one of three Asian countries, either Taiwan, Thailand, or Singapore. And the manager charged with making the decision has determined that there are five key success factors that can be used to evaluate the prospective countries. Those five factors are shown in the table below. They include technology, level of education, political and legal aspects, social and cultural aspects, and other economic factors. Now, each of those key success factors or criteria carry a weight. So for example, technology is weighted at 0.2 or 20%, level of education at 10%, political and legal aspects 40%, etc. Note that the sum of all the weights must equal 100%. Then the manager uses a rating system between one and five, where one is the least desirable and five is the most desirable, and evaluates each country on each key success factor. We have three requirements for this problem. The first is to determine which country should be selected for the plant, and the second and third factor in some changes in scores on one of the key success factors, which we'll deal with separately. The factor rating method is actually pretty simple, where what we do is we take the score and simply multiply by the weight of each criteria. So if we look at Taiwan first and we look at technology, Taiwan received a score of 4 out of 5 and is weighted 20%. So that results in a weighted score of 0.8. If we look at level of education, the score was 4 and that's weighted at 10%, so the weighted score is 0.4. Political and social received a score of 1 with a weight of 0.4, so that mathematically also works out to 0.4. Social and cultural aspects is exactly the same in this case as level of education, weighted 10% and received a score of 4. For economic factors, Taiwan received a score for 3 and weighted at 20%, that works out to 0.6. What we can do then is sum all of those up to come up with a total weighted score for Taiwan of 2.6. Then we move on to Thailand to do the same thing for technology. We would take a score of 5 for Thailand, weighted at 20%, gives you 1.0. And then we follow that for all of the other criteria. When you sum them all up, Thailand receives a total weighted score of 3.1. And then if we look at Singapore, we apply the exact same methodology. So for example, for technology, Singapore received a score of 1 and weighted at 20%. That works out to 0.2. Political and legal aspects received a score of 3, weighted at 40% is 1.2, etc. That results in a total weighted score for Singapore of 2.6. So based on the weighted scores, we can see that Thailand has the highest weighted score of 3.1 on a scale of 1 to 5, with, again with 5 being the most desirable. So on that basis, Thailand rates the highest. The nice thing about the factor rating method is that it takes a relatively subjective evaluation of different criteria and enables you to develop an object of scoring. If you look at requirement B, here's a modification that says, well, if there's some political unrest in Thailand that results in a lower score of 2 for political and legal aspects, does our decision change? Rather than going and recalculating the scores, what we can do is we know that right now Thailand had a score of 3.1. If we subtract the weighted score for political and legal of 1.2 and then add back a 40% weighting on a new score of 2, that will give us a final weighted score of 2.7 out of 5, which is still higher than Taiwan and Singapore. So that wouldn't change the decision. Finally, in requirement C, well, what if Thailand's score drops even further to 1 for political and legal aspects? Well, we'd apply the same methodology here. We'd start with our original 3.1 score, subtract the 1.2 rating based on a score of 3 weighted at 40%, and then add back the new weighted score of 1 multiplied by 40% or 0.4 for the weight, and that now results in a final score of 2.3, in which case Taiwan and Singapore now rate higher, and those would be more desirable locations than Thailand. So that's how you apply the factor rating method to location selection.